In recent days, we've been asked to make changes to our lives that would have been unimaginable a few weeks ago. COVID-19 is the biggest challenge of our lifetimes. The number of cases is set to rise sharply. We must do all we can to slow it down and save lives. I am now asking restaurants, cafes, pubs, gyms and cinemas to close. I know how difficult this is, but it is vital to reduce our risk of getting the virus and to reduce the risk of infecting those who are most vulnerable of becoming seriously ill or dying. In short, it will save lives. I've worked in the muscle in about six years now. Started as a sous chef and then worked my way up to now head chef. During the summer, you're probably talking about 200 covers on a Saturday, Friday as well. Um, yeah, it was fairly popular. The Raven is primarily a bar, however there is a restaurant side where we focus on roast meats, smoked meats, all around really, really good food. Before lockdown, I would say we were really busy, really popular. We did have a repeat trade, um, definitely heavy on the weekend trade, heavy with um, drinkers and the football crowd. Uh, worries about coronavirus, there was none. It was the same as before with SARS, things like that. Just the general, it won't reach us, we'll be fine. So a bit blasé about it until it finally sort of got to the continent, France, Spain. Then that's when we started worrying. There's always something in the, the back, of, back of your mind. I don't think, looking at where we are now, that we could have ever seen that we thought we'd be in this position that we are, uh, being as disrupted as we are from all walks of life. The initial lockdown we were told to close down was at the end of March. Um, the, the weeks falling up to it were very, very quiet. Um, there was the, the emphasis on, you know, don't go out, uh, which made the, the trade really struggle. Our original thoughts were, it won't be long, maybe two weeks, three weeks, maybe we were told to close down. And then longer went on, there was more worries coming in, thinking will we ever reopen? And basically thinking how are you going to reopen? Initially the government funding, we, there was a lot of question marks over. Um, when we, we closed the first time around, the funding that I'm aware that we receive, um, although welcome, is, is, is a far cry from the profits that we would, we would be making if we were trading at full capacity. Some staff have moved on by loan accord, and others unfortunately we had to start with the redundancy process, and basically because it wasn't viable to keep as many staff on as we had. With the furlough scheme ending, and so yeah, unfortunately we have, we have um, I think we've lost about 15, maybe 20 members of staff through both restaurants things started becoming more uncertain, people feeling a wee bit uneasy, just just how long can, you know, you stay out of work, just how long can furlough, keep going, how long can, can a business uh, stay open without actually trading? To get back to reopening, we had to bring in sanitizer, masks for all staff, uh, extra training for staff, all the surfaces had to be cleaned and we had to get forms for our track and trace system, reorganise our tables, which then meant we lost about half the seat numbers. When we finally opened back up again, uh, it was it was kind of surreal. We'd done a little bit of a rolling trade, but it was nowhere near as what was what we used to. With everything in place, we were trading at maybe a, a third of our capacity that we could normally do. We only actually opened Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, um, just because there was no point open Monday, Tuesdays. So with those days, we're doing roughly about 200 covers, um, then the week, which was enough to break even, and then obviously the new announcement came out that we had to close again for another, or well, originally another two weeks, but obviously it's been now three weeks. However, because of the significantly higher levels of infection in the central belt, we are introducing stricter restrictions in the following five health board areas. Greater Glasgow and Clyde, Lanarkshire, Ayrshire and Arran, Lothian and Forth Valley. In these areas, all licensed premises, with the exception of hotels for residents, will be required to close indoors and outdoors. When we were told to close again, 
I think there was definitely a lot more fear with already knowing within Glasgow of people losing their jobs, of places already closing, um, just of the uncertainty of the first time around and how long that lasted became a really anxious time for a lot of people. Very short notice, we got told what on the Wednesday night that we were closing um, and we had basically Thursday, Friday lunch, that was it. Um, at that point I'd already ordered in stuff for the weekend service so we had to come up with a plan to basically shift our stock before, so we didn't lose it again. We were able to, at least with working in a big company, we were able to spread our anything that we could to other units that would be open for takeaways. We were, um, we were able to donate certain things to charities, to homeless shelters, but for the most part, um, perishable goods was just, it's just flat out waste. For some reason, hospitality has been getting attacked. We were already one of the cleanest places you could go. And then with all the new, che new um, checks and everything else in place, we were even cleaner. You ask most restaurants, most chefs, there's a hint of OCD. Everything has to be clean, everything has to be in its own place. So to then get the blame for this spike, even though we opened in, what, some restaurants opened in July, August, there was no spike, but it wasn't until September, October, when schools, universities, places started getting busier, that's when the spike was. So yeah, it was, like I said, we knew it was coming, but it was really, really frustrating that we had to close again. So with the lockdowns in total, we've been closed more than we've ever been open this year. So we've been closed seven months in total, and we've only really been open to trade for three months. Two of those were January and February when the trade's pretty bad in, it, in itself. We understand it's a pandemic, we understand the gravity of the situation, um, but it feels, from a livelihood perspective, more than most that those that work in pubs, restaurants, nightclubs are are the the weapon boys they blame. Yeah, the main worry is just hoping the restaurant survives, at least till January, and then hopefully by then there'll be some sort of vaccine or a better plan in place that we can actually remain open. <laughs>